Good morning everybody, hope you're doing well this morning. Hope you guys stay tuned to the channel for more second date updates on the tents. Uh, look out for my uploads Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, yeah, enjoy! This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy. The Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. What's up, George? Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So you're looking for Lita? Yep, I sure am. I <laughs> honestly don't get what happened. You know, we were hanging out for like a month, and I thought we had a boyfriend-girlfriend situation going, but all of a sudden she's not responding to any of my communications. <laughs> okay, so what happened? Did you do anything uh, the last time you hung out, or...? I mean, nothing worth breaking up over. Like, I made a small mistake, but it was more of like a ha ha mistake, not a f off and never want to see you again mistake. <laughs> um, okay. We'll, we'll be the judge of that. Uh, what, was the, what was the ha ha mistake that you did? All right. Look, I think you're going to laugh about this. Uh, last time I saw her, I'm on my way over to her place. We're just going to hang out. And she texts me saying, Hey, my Aunt Flo just came visiting. Can you pick me up some pads and wings? Okay. So I'm like, Cool. How many? She says 36. So I go to CVS, get some pads. Then I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and I get us three dozen wings. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro. Oh, my God. Even I know that that's oh, not the right thing to do. Oh, my God. Look, look I, I, I put too much stock into the and. Uh, <laughs> or with, or whatever. Look, I just saw wings. I'm driving. I'm just like, oh, she's hungry. So I read the text wrong. Oh, all right? my God. Listen, I don't know, man. I read it wrong or whatever. I grew up with three brothers. I How am I supposed to know there's different types of pads? <laughs> so 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 you show up with the pads and the buffalo wings, and what happens? Uh, nothing. She got mad for like three seconds, but then you know she laughed, and we watched Netflix and had some delicious buffalo wings with her friends. And honestly, there was plenty for everybody. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm a hero. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you think it could be because you got the wrong pads, the wingless pads. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I can't think of anything else, so I guess that's it. Okay. I mean, that could be it. I, I look at that. I, I like to call that, like, uh, well, the painter guy, Bob Ross, a happy accident. Okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but anyway, okay, George, we'll give her a call for you next, all right? Hello? Hi, is this Lita? Um, who's this? Uh, Lita, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. C can, can I explain really quick while we're calling you? I'm I'm sorry. I worked at Double last night. What do you need? Uh, we're a radio show, and what we do is we got your phone number from a gentleman that knows you, and he feels like you guys have a like a good chemistry. So he would love to take you out on a date to see if you know, see if you feel the same way about him. So here's the deal: we're gonna tell you his name. And if, if you agree to go on a date, then we'll let you pick the place you want to go to. Maybe the place you're most comfortable or a restaurant you want to try and all the food. You can even do it. You can tell us when, what time and all the food and drinks. We'll, we'll pay for the whole thing. Um, all right. It's a guy I know. Are, um, are you going to make me guess who it is? No, no, no. We'll tell you the guy's name. So his name, uh, it's George. Remember George? Oh, God. You woke me up because that idiot called you? Does he not understand what it means when someone ghosts him? He might, but he wants to know why. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he doesn't think he did anything wrong. Oh, really? Well, is it because he picked up the pads? Well, he told us that he picks up some pads and some buffalo wings. Like, is, is that the whole situation, or...? I mean, that was just stupidity. That's fine. But yeah. he needs to learn when to keep his f***ing mouth shut. He needs to learn when to keep his mouth shut? What did he do? The last time he came over, my friend was there with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Like, I think they were talking about a hike they did or something. They went to show him, like, a picture of it from their Facebook. Which, like, by the way, they have a joint Facebook account. Okay. So, um, okay, so you don't think it's a big deal that they share a, a, a Facebook account, right? I mean, eh, it's a little... I hate sharing Facebook yeah, accounts. Like, I, I look at people that do not, that, like, a little... Eh. Yeah, not my thing, but I mean, I would just yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Why? What's the... Some, some... Well, I'll just say some some couples are super close. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like their f***ing business, but, like, ask face sees their joint account and immediately, like, immediately goes, uh-oh, somebody cheated. Who did that? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God. I, I can see that, maybe. <laughs> Did somebody cheat? Is that what happened? Well, yes, but that's oh. nobody's business. And they tried to ignore him and blow it off, but he wouldn't f-ing drop it. He kept on saying, everyone I know that shares a social media page is only doing it because someone f-ing oh. someone else. So oh. It was so f-ing uncomfortable. Oh, God. Did they get into a fight about it or... Well, that night they were being, like, super quiet with each other. But the next day, my friend texted me to tell me that they broke up. Oh, They geez. were together for six years. And that f-ing idiot guy broke them up. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not even going to do it. He, listen, <laughs> okay, how about this? How about if he apologizes? Because he's on the phone right now uh, listening, I believe. Unless he... George? Hey, well, uh, <laughs> I have a question. You mentioned if I would apologize. Why the f- would I apologize when I was right? <laughs> oh, God. Are you kidding me? Like, I mean, you literally, like, caused a whole, like, an entire relationship to crumble. Like, it, like that's I didn't ridiculous. cause anything to crumble. I asked if somebody cheated. Apparently, they cheated. It feels like I won at Jeopardy, and they're oh saying you need to God. apologize for your correct opinion. <laughs> It, it, it's just it, you shouldn't you should drop it. You should have never brought it up to begin with. Look, everybody f- knows that you share the page, you so you can share the password, so you can see the DM. That's what that is for. <laughs> yeah, because somebody cheated. <laughs> drop it when they said no. They were clearly uncomfortable. Look, I was joking around. If a joke broke them up. Then honestly, like they were just a house of cards, the slightest breeze would <laughs> cause the collapse. So it's not my fault their relationship sucked in the first place. If it wasn't me, it would have been, I don't know, like a commercial or something. That, that you know what? Like, uh oh. That's what I was going to say earlier. <laughs> honestly, I was going to be like, yo, it seems like they were on the outs anyway. That's bullsh. You're absolutely fine until you opened your mouth. Okay, whatever. Listen, I have a question. Who was it that cheated? Like, I guess it was Brian. <laughs> like, he, he looked like a scumbag. He's like, he so fixated yeah. on that. No, wait, hold on, hold on. Listen, what oh, if he, like, man. apologizes to your friends for what he said? What, what about that? George, would you do that? She didn't answer his question. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No, you want me to apologize to cheaters who lied to me? No, no just... Honestly, I'm feeling pretty justified right now. I feel like I'm on, like, the moral high ground here. Yeah, on any kind of moral high ground. Like, you, you broke up a relationship in six years. That's that's pretty rotten. Yeah, I'm the one who convinced, like, Brian to fit his in somebody else. That's my oh, fault. Oh, man. <laughs> but he brought wings. He brought wings, Lita. Uh-huh. What about that? He can shove those wings up his ass. The second date update on the tent. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, 810, and 910. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the second date update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you have it set on all so you don't miss any of my uploads. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys next time.